Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the for each construct. So if we wanted to do something to each individual item in our array, what we would do is we would use the for each. And the way to do that is actually shown right here in the book. So we have, we've set an array equal to one, two, three, four, and then for each one of these items, we need to set um, each item as a different variable, right? So we call out first the array, the array name right here, array and we use the keyword as and then we use ampersand num now we've just created a new variable name right here num is the one we've decided to choose okay and then below that what we do is we come and we do num so one is now equal to num because this is the first item we're first going to uh, cover and then we set it equal to num times two all right and then we're going to echo out that value so um like if we come down here, we've echoed out value, which is, this is just the string, right? I have it in quotations. And then we echo out num. All right, so first going to the first iteration is gonna use the one and it's for each. So one as num, sorry, array as num, num is one equal to num times two, okay? Then we echo it out. Then we go to the next element in our array two. So we do, we do, uh, we set two equal to num, and then we do num is equal to num times two, echo value num. So you'll see here value two times two is equal to four. All right, so this is a pretty easy um, concept to grasp, but it's gonna be a lot easier if you type it out. I, you know, one of the things that I like to have people do is type out the actual uh, code. So let's do array is equal to um, array, And then we'll do, um, let's just do even numbers, four, two, four, and six, eight, just to make it a little bit different. So coming down below, we're gonna do four each. And then we're gonna do parentheses. We need to target the array as, and then this is where we need to include an ampersand here. And I'll talk about why in a little bit, but then we can come up with uh, any name that we want to call this. So. They're at, or I'm actually gonna call this item. Okay, so we're gonna do it a little bit different. Then we put the curly brackets here, coming down below, and this is where we're going to decide what we're gonna do with each item in the, um, or each element in our array. So item equals item, and we'll do times three on this one. We're gonna do a semicolon here. We come below that, and then we're just gonna echo out uh, value. Uh, let's do echo out. We can actually let's just do the where at. Let's just do where you're at. We'll do a colon here, and we'll call out item. So then here we're gonna do a new line. So it's a backslash and then an n, and we'll do a semicolon right there. So now just save it, and then we're gonna run it. So if we pull this up right here, you'll see we're at six, we're at 12, we're at 18, and then we're at 24. So if you got it on the first, when I, when I showed you in the book at first, let's just quickly go through this again. Two is the first number. So we set, we, we first target the array that we want, and we set it as item in it. Right, so for each item in this array, well, element in this array, but we're using the keyword item here to, or we're using the variable name item here. And we come down below and we set it item equal to item uh, times three. So the first one is two, right? So we're gonna times two by three right there. Then we're echoing out what it's at, okay? So then we reiterate through, we go back through, it's just called iteration. We grab the four, we do uh, item, is equal to item times three. So four times three is 12, and that's why you have 12 right here. And then we do it with the six and the eight as well. And what I wanna make sure you understand that is if we come out of this and we were to print our, our array now, um, let me save it. Let's just go ahead and knock out the echo right here. 
let's save, run it, you'll see that our values, even outside of our for each, we still have our our L, our, our uh, elements inside our array are still multiplied by three. And there's another thing to watch out for, and that's if we were going to just print our our item. So let's just do item right here. You'll see that it's going to actually keep the value the item last was. So it'll keep eight times three. So again, I'll come right here and I'll I'll comment that out you'll see the item is still equal to 24 because that was the last the last time that it was called so the way to unset that is to actually use the unset keyword so I'll drag this down a little bit so you can see this um, I'm gonna do this and then I'm just gonna type unset and then I will type item save it and run it now It'll say, notice, oh, let's pull this up. It'll say notice undefined variable. Now that's actually what you want because we've unset item to have no value at this point. So, uh, because it, it's not gonna go back, right? Because item hasn't been, we haven't given it a value at all. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the ampersand. Um, the reason we use ampersand is because we wanna pass by reference. And what that essentially means is that we want to be we want to point to the value but we don't want to become that value I know that might sound a little bit confusing but how I'm going to show you is we're just going to set X oops set yeah, X equal to 1 coming below that what I'll do is I will set y y equal to uh, ampersand X here so now coming below that, I'm gonna do y, I'm gonna set y equal to y plus two. Okay, and then below this, I'll do x, or, or I'm, gonna, I'm gonna echo x out here. Okay, so now when I run this, I told it to echo x and x came out as three. So what happened here was that x is equal to 1 currently. Then I set y equal to uh, uh, pointing at the x, percent x, and then I made y equal to y plus 2. Okay, so currently y is equal to 1, then y becomes y plus 2. Now it points back because y is equal, because y is equal to this, to ampersand x, X also becomes two. So, for so to show you what I mean, I actually need to get rid of the the ampersand there, and then I need to run this. You'll see that X is still equal to one. Okay, because the value doesn't get passed back. It doesn't it doesn't point? They don't point to each other anymore. Okay, so X is still equal to one now because Y is equal to X. Y becomes one. If you then Y equals one plus two. Then we echo x, x is still one, because x is set at one. Now if I echo y right here, y will still be equal to three. Okay, save it, run it, and you'll see that y is equal to, well I have to get rid of this, comment that out, then run it. You'll see that y is equal to three. Okay, by not including the ampersand, the values don't point back. Now I know that concept seems a little strange, but you'll get used to it. Um, you'll you'll understand why it's important, how it can be used. But it, but at first, exp, you know, grasping it is a little it's funky. But but don't worry, you you got this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do like the video. Leave any questions if you have them. My name is Jake from Wild Academy. If you haven't signed up for the list yet, please do that. I will get you. I have a new Python book coming out soon. Um, and so I'm trying to get it out by the end of the month. And then if you're on the list, I send out an email to everybody on the list on the, the day that it comes out and it's going to be free, uh, at first. And so don't miss out and, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.